Inside Denver's ICE office, John Fabricatore wouldn't confirm or deny that Denver's going to see more deportations than usual on Sunday. This office operates every day. We have tar targeted enforcement operations, and we will continue to do that. For him, it's an ongoing battle to track down those who aren't legally allowed to be here. It's very serious when someone gets to go through the court process and they get their, their chance to tell their story to the judge and the judge still finds them removable. We have to be able to say the law counts and that we're going to continue to enforce that law after they see a judge and then that they're found removable. When we called the Colorado Immigrant Rights Coalition for an interview today, they told us they were simply too busy fielding calls from concerned families worried about reports that ICE officers could be out looking for them Sunday. Instead, a statement calling the president's recent tweet vowing to deport millions next week fear-mongering. The coalition is also sharing a hotline for people who see or are caught in a so-called raid. I want to make the point that we don't do raids. We do targeted enforcement. Semantics aside, none of the politicians or law enforcement agencies we spoke to today know anything about Sunday's potential either. Aurora Police responded to all of this talk by reminding the public that their officers don't have the authority to investigate or enforce federal immigration laws in Colorado. ICE is on their own and carrying out orders from the top. Well, our mission is to keep the community safe, and, and we're very, very serious about that. Today, we heard from the offices of Congresswoman DeGette, Congressman Crow and Bennett, and Denver Mayor Michael Hancock. All of them expressed concerns about this news. None of them had any additional knowledge of Colorado potentially being a part of Sunday's operation, Kyle. So, Ryan, you have cities like Aurora and Denver where the police say they will not help ICE or participate in this, but that does not appear to slow down immigration agents in those cities. No, not at all. It doesn't appear that they've notified any local law enforcement. In fact, they say it's harder than ever to work with local law enforcement because of new law, new laws in Colorado that prevent them from holding anybody they suspect of being in the country illegally. Ryan here reporting. Thank you, Ryan.